Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Farm Manager 2021. So here we are, we're back again on our little farm and things are looking pretty good around here. I mean it's not a huge farm by any stretch of the imagination, not now anyway, I'm sure we'll get there in time, but right now it's a little farm, it's a fledgling farm because of course we have only just got started, so we don't have that much going on right now, but I like what we do have, I think we have a good range of things in our farm at the moment. Over here we have four lovely big greenhouses and they're growing all sorts of different things so tomatoes and gooseberries and raspberries and everything in here is organic of course so we can make a little bit more money from them which is nice and then over here we have our splendid our wonderful bees I do like the bees in Farm Manager. They're just such a nice, easy, low maintenance way to make a good bit of money. And of course, bees are important. Bees are very important for plants and pollination and for the entire world, really. So by having all of these bees, we are, you know, effectively saving the world. So that's nice. Go us, we're saving the planet whilst we're doing our farming, which is splendid. And then over here, across the road from the main sort of, uh, the main base of operations over there, we have ourselves a couple of fish farms. So we've got ourselves the carp over here, and then we have ourselves some trout over here. And actually, it is quite good to see that the trout are recovering a little bit, because last time I did nearly starve them all to death by not sorting out their food properly. It was a uh, it was a little bit of a little bit of a technical issue. It's a lesson that has now been learned, and we can take it with us to the future. But yes, it was a bit of a close call. We nearly ended up with a massive load of dead trout. We could have made ourselves a gigantic fish cake or something, but no. Fortunately, they are on the mend. They are recovering because now they actually have some food to eat. So there we go, that is excellent news. It would have been a little bit unfortunate had we just got in a load of these trout and then had to, you know, just sort of replace them because they're all dead, you know, floating about the top of the water. So thankfully they're recovering, which is wonderful. But that's kind of it. That is kind of it for our farm right now. We've got ourselves the fishing bit over here, the bees and the greenhouses. And that's sort of it. I mean, okay, yeah, we've got the other buildings, we've got warehouses and the staff buildings and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, with the main sort of things, we've only got three types of produce coming out right now. So I think we need to actually you know, get a little bit more going on. I would like to today set up some orchards because they can make some good money when the time comes. When you harvest the fruit, I think they can be quite profitable. And also I'd like to get some fields set up for the bees because at the moment the bees are just making multi-flower honey, but there are different types of honey the bees can make. They go to fields of different types of crops, and it means they can make different types of honey, which I think are more profitable than the multi-flower honey. So that would be good as well. The only thing is that having orchards and fields will require farm machinery to, you know, work the soil and spread the manure and all that kind of stuff. So we might end up spending quite a bit of our money on machinery, and unfortunately we did not take the training that reduced the cost of the machines. I don't think we can even think about doing that. Um, it is, it's just there, there you go. Practical training in negotiation skills reduces the price of machines on the stock market by 10%. I mean, that's quite a big saving. If you're spending, I don't know, 5,000 money on a tractor, that's going to save you 500 monies overall. And of course, the tractors, I think the tractors might actually be 45,000 or something like that. The tractors are quite expensive. So this would have been handy to have, but alas, we did not take it. So never mind. Never mind. It's a bit of a shame. I mean, yeah, how long... How long is it going to take for us to do the big fancy training? Yeah, we're not we're not even 10% of the way through. So yes, we've kind of dedicated ourselves to go to annual agricultural school. So we've sent ourselves away to do lots and lots of learning about agriculture. But yeah, it's a full year. It's a full 365 day course. The stuff afterwards is brilliant. But yeah, we can't do anything else right now. So never mind. Never mind. We might just have to bite the bullet and just buy some machines at uh, you know, a slightly higher price than they could have been. But not to worry. Never mind. Right, let's get these fields in set up over here. Let's put the fields in over here of the different types of honey. Right, hang on. What types of honey was it? Because I think it tells us in here. If we can find the honey. There we go. There's multiflower. There. There it is. So, right. Colza honey. Okay. So, we want to plant some colza and some buckwheat. That was it. Colza and buckwheat. It's all flooding back to me from Farm Manager 2018. So, we want colza and buckwheat. I think we put them here. The bees are here. It would make sense for the fields that the bees want to use you know, to go just here, near to the bees. They don't have to travel that far. It's fine. We'll cut down on your travel time, bees. So I think, yeah, I think we put them in over here. Now, the only thing is, we've not zoned out a field yet. So I'm not entirely sure how this works. I mean, how little does a field need to be? Like, what is the minimum size for a field? It looks like a three by three field is allowed. I mean, do we want to make it a bit bigger? Hang on. How big is that? How big is that? That is, that's, hang on a minute. 
Hang on, that's four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so could we have it for... Yes, I have two different fields. Let's put them there. So that's a field there for about 2,000 monies. And then a field here. I assume that the posts and stuff are fine. Yeah, they're right near the edge. They're okay. And then in here, we want to plant buckwheat. Buckwheat seeds. There they go. So yeah, it says here, like, estimated yield revenue. We're not really that bothered about the actual crop itself. That's not really a thing we care about. It's just so we can get the honey. If I hang on, bio. We want it to be bio, don't we? We want organic everything on our farm. So let's have organic buckwheat seeds. It's going to cost us all of 54 farm manager monies to get the seeds. But we could make 2,468 monies from the crop. Okay, so organic buckwheat in there, please. And then here we will have um, colza. Organic colza. I mean, I don't really know what these things are. I don't know what buckwheat and colza are, apart from like little lovely flowery plant things. I mean, that looks quite nice. It looks yellow and pretty. So, okay, we'll have one of those in. The only thing is, it is currently, what, the 4th of July. I mean, are we... Oh, it's, it's Independence Day. Yay. Um, are we going to be able to get all of these things in and planted and grown and then harvested to actually get the crop? I mean, it'll be okay for the bees, I imagine, as long as they start growing properly. I don't know. I don't know if we can get all those things in. We might need some more people to work on the fields as well. Because we've got people working on four greenhouses. Actually, that's telling us, are they are they doing this? It's bearing fruit. We can get some more lovely gooseberries out. That's very exciting. In fact, do you know what? We want to put at the top as well, organic, uh, there, organic tomatoes and organic raspberries. Because we have those in the greenhouses as well. So there we go. That's a range of things we're, range of things we're sort of producing right now. So how about we hire some more people? just to try and help out on the on the fields a bit. Um, yeah, that house, I think that one's full, isn't it? Yeah, that's eight out of eight. So here we go, we've got four workers in this one. So let's hire another person. Right, who's good at dealing with plants? Given you're, you're applying to work on a farm, I would have thought plants would be quite high up. Only one person? Really? Okay, one person. Oh, Noah is good at machines. Is it worth hiring you? You're quite expensive, but you're going to be very good at working the, you know, working the tractors and the plows and the diggers and all that kind of stuff. Maybe we get you in as well. Let's get you. Let's put you into there. So Jackson Watts, you come in. And then Noah Patel, you can come in as well. You can be, you can be machine guy. But then I notice, oh, orchards. Oh, you're really expensive. Jessica Reed, you're brilliant, but you're very, very expensive. I wouldn't mind somebody who's just good at orchard. Hang on, hang on, take that off. Oh no, hang on, no, not no, don't take that off. Order it by order it by trees. Who's good at dealing with uh, with orchards? You, but you're really expensive. You're really, really expensive. Leo Ryan is also good at dealing with orchards, but he's also good at manufacturing. So because he's got double skills. He is a little bit more expensive. Like here, Matthew Woods, animals, 1,540. That's fine. That's nice and affordable. But yeah, these multi-skill people are a bit more costly. Um, okay, right now, let's just leave it as it is. We'll keep checking back to see if we've got anybody that can work in an orchard. But there we go. Okay, so I imagine, hang on, move time on. What's going to happen here? Yeah, there we go. So it's saying, no, no, we can't do this. You need yourself some proper farm equipment. So what do we need? Oh my goodness me, we need 12 gajillion things. Right. Okay, this could take, this could be expensive. This could be horribly, horribly expensive to get this sorted. And yeah, we're paying full price. Okay, let's, let's bite the bullet. Let's just do it. Let's get some machines. We're going to need farm machines in sooner or later. So let's just get them in now. I'm thinking what we do is we put them over here. Let's put them over here near to the staff buildings. So the staff can walk out of the house, get in a tractor, and then Joe have a little jolly in a tractor and drive around a bit. So that's what we might do. And I think over here looks like a good place for some orchards. That looks like a good place. Or do we put them over here? Because there's quite a lot of room over here. We could rejig the electricity supply. That'll be fine. And then, yeah, we could just put orchards over here, possibly. Don't know. Let's get the machines in. Let's get the actual machines in. Right, they need parking, don't they? Um, where would that be? Warehouses, garages. That would be the one. So there is a regular parking lot. Just a huge big concrete block on the ground. That's got 12 parking spaces. 
costs 15 grand. And that one there costs 20 grand. That's a roofed parking thing. Um, increases, ah, increases the durability of machines by 30%, but of course it's a lot smaller. Um, let's have a, you know, let's have a mix. Let's have a mix of these. Let's have a garage and a parking lot outside. I mean, I'm thinking what we do is, let's put them, let's have a road, right, hang on. Grab a parking thing. Okay, right, they're not completely massive. I thought they might be utterly huge. We'll put ourselves a parking thing there. The only thing is there's a, um, an electricity pole pylon thingamajigger just there. Um, I imagine if we build a road, it's either going to demolish it or it's going to move it. And the game seems quite clever with moving these things. Um, let's pop the parking thing just there. And then, why does the parking thing need power? Why? Oh, does it need power? Oh, maybe it, maybe it didn't need power. It does need a road. That's fine. We're on that. And then, go to here. Paved road. Right, how is this going to work with that electric thing just there? Let's have a look, shall we? So just run that through the middle. Is it going to demolish it? No, it moves it. That's very clever. I do like that. It moves it right into the corner. Okay, and then over here, get ourselves a garage and put that there. Okay. Right, well, let's move time on. Let's just get actually stuff built. Let's get this put into place. So there we go. Lots of people on the roof doing their little kind of roof dance. Yay for building. Everybody do the building dance. And we're walking about the place. Okay. I mean, that scaffold seemed very high for a building that wasn't quite that tall. But okay, that's fine. So now we've got these. Let's go and buy ourselves some things. So what exactly do we need? We're going to need a tractor and a plow and a cultivator. Okay, they seem like good things to start. And a manure spreader and various other bits and bobs. Okay, I mean, have we got enough manure? We've got 8,000 manure. How about we order a big pile of manure? Let's do that as well, shall we? Let's go to the uh, go to the market and we'll buy... Um, where would it be? Where would it be in there? It's not agrochemicals. Hang on. Manure. Can we buy some manure, please? Can we buy another 8,000 units of it for not very much money at all? Yeah, we'll order that in, please. Because, yeah, if we're going to be putting it on fields over here, we're going to want to make sure we have a lot of it. Right, let's buy ourselves some farm machinery, shall we? So let's go into here... Uh, vehicles. That's what we want. Vehicles. Oh, here they are. The Riga tractor, the Etos tractor, and the Little Orchard tractor. Oh, this is exciting. Well, we're going to need a Riga, Riga tractor thing. So how much are they? 45 grand. If we'd have got that training done, we could have saved ourselves four and a half grand. I just did that math in my head, everybody. Maths with Penge. But yeah, 10% off that. we have been four and a half grand saving just on one particular bit of equipment. Uh, oh, well, never mind. Do you know what? It's fine. We need it. We need to you know, get on with everything else. So it's all fine. Right, let's buy this. Um, we can lease it for 24 months for 2000 a month. Okay, but well, then it's not ours. But then we give it back, I assume. But what does that do? 24 months, 2000 will be 48. Over 48 grand, and it's 45 grand to buy new. Uh, I mean, I'd rather buy a new one. That's That's more expensive. I suppose we do give it back at the end and we can always get a shiny new one again. Whereas this one would be ours and we'd have to repair it. I'd rather have our own stuff. Yeah, do you know what? We'll buy a shiny new one of these. And then we get to choose where to put it. Oh, we can put stuff in the farm owner house. Oh, there's a little bit of parking over there. I mean, right now, let's put that. Let's put that in the garage. Let's put that actually indoors. There we go. Pop that into there. We have a tractor, everybody. We have our first piece of farm machinery. There it is. I mean, you have to reverse it out, but I'm sure that's fine. Okay, so now, yeah, plow. We need a plow. There, oh, they're 500, yeah. Buy that brand new, yes. Put that outside somewhere. That'll do. Pop that there. Um, right, okay. What else did we need? We needed a cultivator. We need one of those. That's 1,500. Again, that's not so bad. That's okay. Put that into parking one. Pop that outside. Right, what else do we need? So vehicles, we're done. Combines, I don't think we need quite yet. Um, it's going to be all the tools, isn't it? An orchard. And we are going to need an orchard planter at some point. We're going to need an orchard planter because we're going to want apples or whatever they are, apricots and cherries. In fact, maybe not cherries. Cherries are on the down price thing. But okay, that's fine. We'll buy one of those because I think we might need one. Um, they're going to be used relatively infrequently. Let's put that over at the farm owner house. Oh, it's tiny. Oh, no, let's put that over here then. I thought it was going to be massive. No, it's a tiny little thing. It looks like, essentially, just move out the way, electricity thing. It looks like just some baskets. It looks like baskets on wheels. 
Okay, that's fine. I'm sure it's very complicated farm machinery. And what else do we need? Um, we need ourselves a planter, a trailer. Oh, a trailer with water. That's probably quite important. And a manure thing as well. Have we got a manure spreader thing? Manure spreader. Yeah, there. Okay, so we need a manure spreader, definitely. So buy one of those. Um, can that go in parking one as well? Yep, so took that over into there. And then let's get ourselves, what was it again? A trailer with water. Yeah, get that. Okay, so buy that. What's that? Three and a half grand. We could have saved so much money. We could have saved so much money on this. Okay, put that in parking one. Uh, oh, that's big. Oh, that's that's very big. Okay, hang on. Pop that into the garage then, because that seems to be the only place it fits. Right. How are we looking here then? Hang on, the little notification thing's gone. That means we could... Are you able to get on with this? Hang on a minute. Hang on. Move time on. Let's go on to normal speed. Is somebody going to come out and, and go in a vehicle? I think... Hang on, is there a side door? Yeah, there is. There's a side door. Is somebody going to drive a tractor around? <gasps> There's the tractor. Okay. This is, this is the first time we've seen farm machinery in operation. This is very exciting. Right, okay, where are you going? You're going over here. You're going to go and sort this out. Okay, what's that telling us? Um, ah, and the gooseberries have been harvested. Is that it? 36. Oh, 160. I was thinking, hang on a minute. There should be a lot more than that in there. But yeah, they must be in transit, putting them in storage or whatever. Okay, that's that one field done. Could you not just do the field next door? Because, you know, it's right here. It's right there. And the moisture is too low in that greenhouse. Okay, I think they're on the job of watering it. I think that's what they're doing. So they'll get it. So is it too low? That's okay, isn't it? That looks fine to me. I think they're making a big deal of that. Did the manure arrive? It's being delivered. Wonderful. A lovely load of, uh, lo load of poop being delivered. That's all very lovely. Welcome to the farm. Okay, so they've got that done. Where's... Okay, there's two fields to do. Ah, there we go. Oh, you're just working, you're specifically working on one field. You're getting that one field done. Okay, so what's next? Manure spreading. Right, how do we do this? Because the seeds are going to go in. Right, let him do the manure spreading first. Because then the little notify thing might come up saying, Oh, right, we're not sure what to do next. You haven't got the right farm equipment. So let's have a look. So is it going to tell us that we can't proceed? Um, no... Now, they're just getting on with that. This is handy. The water is good for, you know, the rain is good for water levels. Um, hang on. Right, there we go. Right, what do we need now? A seed drill. We need a seed drill. Okay, that's that's fine. Oh, my goodness me. We need so much stuff. Right, a seed drill is required. Let us get one of those. So, um, would that be a tool, possibly? I think it might be. Uh, scrolly scroll. There we go. Seed drill. Right, buy one of those, please. Pop it over there. It's relatively big, but okay, that's fine. So let's see. Are they now going to go out and sort that out, or are they doing this field? Okay, that's fine. They're doing this field. This is all okay. We've got an awful lot of stuff to sell. We might be able to recoup some of the costs on our farm equipment, but let's have a little look. What are they going to do now? So it's going back in. I think... Is that the seed drill? So are we now planting the... Whatever it is in here, buckwheat? Yes, we are. This is wonderful. Okay, all that's gone in. Then, are you going to water it? I mean, it looks fairly well watered, to be fair. It looks pretty well watered. Ah, you're going to put manure on this field. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, it's already appeared. I've already got yellowy crops. I've already got whatever that was, the buckwheat. Oh, hang on. Hang on, what's that? No machine sprayer. I mean, if we're doing it bio, if we're doing it organic, should we be using chemicals on this? Okay, it's telling us we need a spraying machine. Um... Who am I to argue? Who am I to argue? Let's get ourselves a spraying machine. <laughs> it's telling us we need one. So let us acquire one. Um, I can figure out where it might be. Orchard spray. A sprayer. There we go. There. 20,000 money is okay. Um, right. Can it fit in here? Oh, yeah. It's tiny. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so we'll set that up. So now there's a sprayer. I think you've just immediately gone and picked it up. Now, does that mean that it's no longer... We've sprayed it with sort of antifungal spray or whatever. I assumed that if it, we're making bio stuff, we wouldn't be able to do that. But okay, it's fine. Right, and now I think that's got seeds going in. We've got two fields. We've got fields. It's a proper farm, everybody. We have fields with power lines kind of ruining the view ever so slightly, but it's fine. 
right? And then they're spraying it again with something else. Anti-insecty spray. And then there's whatever that is. I don't know what that is. The rain is good. Rain is handy. That keeps the moisture levels up. That's all very good. Okay, yeah, so it's being sprayed multiple times. So then I imagine it will tell us what we need when they actually come to be harvested or whatever. Now, the big question is, are the bees making different types of honey? Is there enough of that crop for the bees to make, say, that yet? No, there is not. Okay, never mind. What's that telling us? Things have been harvested. We possibly should go and sell some stuff. Let's go and sell a few bits and bobs. I mean, we have got... I look there. Yes, we've got buckwheat honey. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, sell all of the multiflower honey for 3,000 monies. Sell the buckwheat for 571. That's not bad. We've only got 23 jars of that or whatever. That's okay. Um, the tomatoes can go for 2,100. The gooseberries for 3,000. Um, okay, the trout meat, 4,800. But this, this might be quite profitable because the carp meat is quite high up. It's one of the in-demand things. That's going to make us almost eight and a half grand. So all this stuff is going to bring in 22,338 monies. Yes, please. Bring in that cash. Because we have just spent quite a lot of money on farm equipment. So there we go. We've kind of recouped a little bit there. Okay, this is good. Now we need to choose what we want to do with orchards. I think if we get the orchards in now, they're going to take obviously a long time to grow. Because, you know, we're going to be growing whatever apple trees or pear trees or whatever is the most profitable right now. So it's going to take a little while to get sorted. I wonder if... Is it worth putting the orchards over here? Because that... I mean, would that be a good space for an orchard? I mean, the bigger the orchard, the better, I suppose. Is it worth just having a gigantic, massive field over here? As big as it could possibly be? Let's get... Let's get a road. Paved road. Can we bring the road up this way? So bring the road up behind the greenhouses. So if we want to have greenhouses in here, we can do. We know that that's going to fit. That's going to be fine. So we can have more greenhouses going up there if we would like to do that. And then over here, yeah, let's get ourselves, let's get ourselves, uh, yeah, orchards over here. We might need to move these around. We might need to move that possibly. Can we move it over there? So it just runs up like that. I don't think we can move these, unfortunately. So we'll demolish all those things. We get a bit of money back. That's quite nice. And then they're going to stop working, I imagine. So what we'll do is we'll get ourselves... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. No, no, no. Did that just show that everything was powered? Everything's powered. Oh, okay. Well, that's good, isn't it? That's a good thing. Why is that in red just there? Why is that in red? Oh, it's not now. But it is there. Oh, okay. Maybe it's because it's too far away from our current one to do anything with. But it looks like all the buildings are in green. So our current setup is now enough to power the greenhouses. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. We can remove those things entirely. We just don't need them at all. And we've you know, recouped a bit of money there. Okay. Now, now we want to make a gigantic field. Right. Pause time for a second. Is there a limit to the size of a field? Like, can we make it there? That is, ah, that's the current maximum field size. We can increase it by completing relevant training, it says there. Okay, that's interesting. How about then? How big is this space? So it is, if we just go across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, counting with pench, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, that's 19. So if we had something that was 9 and then, yeah, if we want to road up the side really so they can get the tractors and things. How about, yeah, we just have massive orchards over here. Huge, big orchards. So if we have a road going all the way up there and then a road going all the way across there and then we could just have orchards in here. So if we go like that, so hang on, how far over is that? So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so if we had that there, oh, botherations, where's it gone? Hang on a minute, hang on. One, two, three, hang on. I'm gonna have to work this out. How can we split this in half, essentially? Can we split this directly in half? I don't think we can. I don't think we can. Hang on. Paved road. Uh, let's put a bit just there. So now how much is on this side? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On this side is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But that's the best we're going to do. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's just have many orchards over here. So that is the size of one orchard. 
That is the size of another orchard. Okay, that's all fine. Run that down the middle. Run that across for your easy access for the farm vehicles and what have you. Oh, no, not, not in the field. Um, yeah, link that up, please. There we go. So two orchards are there. And then do we put another two down here? Or is that a bit too ambitious? Is that a bit too much? But orchards surely are low maintenance. Once they're in, they're in. They're just sitting there and just doing their thing. Because an orchard, you know, it grows. You might spray it or whatever. And then when the fruit's ready, you kind of go and gather it. I think once it's all in, it should be relatively low maintenance. So let's run a road across like that as well. And then we have ourselves, let's do it properly though. Let's let's connect that bit up there. And then, yeah, we've got a little bit of stuff down here. We can put a few relatively small buildings or whatever, manure storage or what have you. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Right, what do we want? What kind of things do we want now? Because we've got huge, great big loads of land to put things in. Fruit and veg. Okay, what's that? Apricot. Are apricots profitable? It does seem so. Crikey, they're very profitable. Wow. They're... That seems like a lot. Hang on. How much are cherries? 974. Cherries are on the down spiral thing, though. They're not selling as well. I mean, how much are the gooseberries? 2337. Apricot. Okay, right. We're having apricots. Um, not cherries. Uh, pears, plums. Let's tick all of these things. Orchardy things. And apples. Okay. Apricots and plums seem very good. But I don't know what the yield is. That's another thing. I don't know what the yield is of these things. Like, you know, if we have an apricot tree, if it produces one kilogram of apricots, whereas if we have an apple tree and it produces 50 grams of apple, uh, 50 kilograms of apple from one tree, obviously the apples are going to be better. Um, and we've got the four. Why don't we just have apricots, plums, apples and pears? And that will do the job. Why don't we just go for that? That's fine. They're black currants. They're also quite good. Let's have, yeah, apricots, plums, apples and pears. Let's have a nice mixture of things. So up here, we will have organic, let's tick that, organic apricots. And then up here, we will have organic apples. And then over here, we will have, uh, where was it? Organic, uh, what were we going to have? Oh, my brain isn't working. Organic pears. Where are pears? Organic pears. And then over here, we were going to have plums. That was it. Organic plums. I can find where they might be. Just there. I mean, look at that. The estimated yield revenue from that is 88,452. And the pears are even more. The pears are even more. Ah, it tells you the yield size. Ah. Oh, that would have been useful to look at first, wouldn't it? Hang on. Apples. So apples. Yield size, 17,500 kilograms of apples. Paying 91,700. Apricots. You don't get anywhere near as many apricots, but they're worth a lot more. They're worth, that'd be 105 grand, really? That's a lot. And then plums, 88, and pears, 94. Yeah, this is looking good. Yeah, we'll have that. We'll have plums over there. And now we just need to get all that stuff sorted. Oh, right, hang on a minute. What don't we have? We haven't got an orchard tractor. Maybe we should get an orchard tractor. And a chest trailer as well. Okay, hang on. We can get a chest trailer. Let's just search for tra for trailer. Right, trailer. Buy one of those. Can we put that into parking one? Does it fit into that gap there? I mean, yeah, there's going to have to be some reshuffling of things, but that's all fine. I think we're a bit low on the old um, on the storage. We might need to we might need to get another one of those because I think we're going to need an orchard tractor as well as as well as the Riga Rega tractor, or is it just because it's in use? It might just be because that tractor is in use. I think that tractor can go and work on all the fields. Yeah, they're coming up here, look. They're coming up here. Okay, how about then? Let's have a look. Have we got somebody? Can we employ another person now? Six out of eight workers. Can we employ somebody who's good at machines? That means we've got two people that could drive the machines around. Plants and machines? Yeah, but you're not going to be... You're not going to be doing... I suppose we could get you. You could do both. Yeah, okay, we'll get you. Welcome aboard. You are absolutely hired. This is good stuff. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I saw an orchard person. Hang on, go to there. Go to trees. Um, orchards. 1,452, because you're not multi-skilled. You're just good at orchards. You, however, orchards and machines. Let's get you. Isabella Nichols, in you come. You're good at both of those things. This is very good indeed. Okay, so now I think, yeah, I think we need another tractor. Let's get the little orchard tractor in, and that can just carry on doing stuff around the place. 
So we've got that tractor for over there. But then, hang on. Hang on. How often do we need to go to these fields now? They're just going to happily just grow now. That's it. So now this tractor here can just be dedicated to working the orchards. Then that's what we need to do. And they'll get there soon enough. I mean, it might take a little while to get it all done, but this is a big thing. This is a big thing. They'll take a little while to get it all sort of you know, laid out and sorted. What's that telling us now? We don't have... Oh no, they're spraying those fields as well. We might need a second tractor. I'm a little bit loath to invest in a second tractor. Do you know what? We'll do it. We'll do it. It's fine. We'll get another garage. We'll pop the garage in down here. Like so. Get that built. It's expensive. Farm equipment's expensive. And then we'll put another tractor in there. But then do we get an orchard tractor? Because we might need an orchard tractor for when the orchards are actually in. Because it can drive through the trees. That might be what we need to do. So let's go to tractors and buy ourselves an orchard tractor. Hang on. Yeah, what can it have that the other one can't? Um, doesn't move fast, but performs well on rough lands. I mean, does it have anything that we can't attach to the other one? Is there anything that it can't do? It's a bit cheaper. But is there anything that it can't particularly do? I think we can just have another Riga tractor. I think that's fine. We'll have two of those. When the farm gets bigger, we'll need two of those anyway. Yeah, okay, fine. We're going to buy the bullet. It's fine. Garage number two. In goes a secondary tractor. Let's see if we can get all this work done a bit quicker. Somebody else? Yes. We've got multiple tractoring happening. They're going to go and put manure on the field. Oh, this is wonderful. This is all very good. Look at this. Farming is happening, everybody. Right, okay. Happy with that. Maybe we need to sell some stuff. It'd be nice if we could get back over 400 grand. <laughs> We've spent over 200,000 farm manager monies. It's very expensive. Um, how are things going on over here, by the way? How's life over here? I'm not really checking up, up on you guys. Are things good? Are the uh, trout recovered? Yes, they have. That's very good to see. Okay, right. Happy with that. Um, also, how are we using 150 kilograms of food? How are we looking for our food in here? Yeah, we've got loads of food in there. It's all looking good. So we've got plenty of food over that way. And then look at this. This is very good. This is very good. Oh, and more things are coming through. Um, okay, let's do some selling. Let's do some selling. There was a, there was a thing, wasn't there, where we can set up automatic sales. Is it trade? Is that what this is? Add a trade item. Okay, hang on a minute. Pause, pause time game. Pause time. Who knows what's going on here? Okay, we know that we have. We know that we have got ourselves. Um, where is it? We've got honey. Buckwheat. Oh no, is it organic buckwheat honey? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know which type it is. Okay, however, we know that we do have other things. What else have we got? We've got the organic uh, tomatoes. There. So we have some of these. So is this what this is doing? Sell above. Ah, here we go. Sell above. Zero. Sell always. Yeah, so always sell tomatoes. Is that what that's saying? I think so. So this is saying always buy. Buy until you've got, you know, a thousand or whatever. And when we could set that up with manure, we could just say always buy manure. That would be good. And then we can be sure that we're going to have enough to go on the fields. But I think we just bought enough. So does that mean now we're always going to sell the tomatoes? Let's check, shall we? So the tomatoes are coming in. A little car is driving up. Are you buying the tomatoes? Are you the tomato salesman? Um, doesn't seem that that is the case. But that did happen every so often, didn't it? As I recall from Farm Manager 2018, somebody came by every so often and bought some stuff. Hang on, that's the wrong button. Um, that's also the wrong button, but an interesting button nonetheless. Um, yeah, does it tell us when they're going to come by? Because we have got a thousand of these things and I don't want them to go off or anything. I don't want them to go mouldy. Okay, we'll wait and see what happens with that. We will, however, if I ever press the right button, we'll sell the other stuff. So let's sell this and this and this and this and this. Sell all, all of the things for 17,494 farm manager monies. Thank you very much. Right, a little bit of money coming back in, which is quite nice. But yeah, I'm not sure if that's working properly. Are you, are you buying the tomatoes? Please take the tomatoes away before they go mouldy. No, that was... Just, ah, here. Are you buying tomatoes? These trucks look like they might want some tomatoes. 
got 1,085. All the maintenance money's just come out, which is unfortunate, and the wages and stuff. Hang on, hang on. Let's go and look at that screen again. Have I done something wrong? Oh yes, maybe I have done something wrong. So this is saying sell above. So if we ever have over 1 million organic tomatoes, we're going to sell them. I think we want to say sell above zero. I think we want to sell 1,085 of them, please. I ticked the infinite before, but yeah, that's... That's a bit strange, because it seems to imply that you have to have over a million of them to sell them, which is a bit odd. But no, just sell above zero. If there are any ever above zero, then sell them, please. That's what we want to do. Right, now let's see what happens with that. Are people going to come by and buy all of our lovely organic tomatoes? I mean, if that doesn't work, then I will admit to being a little bit confused, but I'm sure we'll muddle through. We'll work it out. The fields are looking very good. So they've got... Have they got the seeds in already? Hang on, have we missed the... I think we've missed the planting. I think over there, yeah, we have. We've got the seeds in for the... Oh, hang on, yeah, we can see. There's little trees. This is very exciting. We've actually got things growing. This is wonderful. Okay, so things in there. So we've got apples. We have ourselves... Uh, we have whatever that was again, apricots. And then we've got over here, we're going to have the pears. They're not in quite yet. And the tomatoes have gone. The tomatoes have just gone. Okay, there we go. So it was a problem with the setup we had. It was all a little bit kind of wobbly. Um, we need... Ah, an orchard sprayer. Did we not have an orchard sprayer? I thought we already had an orchard sprayer. Hang on. Sell. Um, do we not have one? No, clearly we do not. Okay, sorry. Hang on. Let's get an orchard sprayer. Um, let's just type in orch. That'll do. Um, yeah, an orchard sprayer. Oh dear. Right, hang on. Pick one of those up. Put it into garage number two, please. There we go. Orchard sprayer has been provided. Sorry about that. Yeah, they need to go and spray exciting chemicals on it. Okay, here we go. So you're planting. I think they're planting the seeds. Yeah, look at that. The seeds are going in. They're putting the little trees in. I think this is where the people sit on the back. It's a shame we can't zoom in anymore. I want to zoom in a little bit more. But yeah, there's people sat on the back. And the tractor drives along, and they just, I don't know, lob trees into the ground every so often at regular intervals. There we go. Lovely. So things are going in. That is being manure spread. I mean, you're spraying it most on the road there, but that's okay. A little bit of a collision there, but, you know, it doesn't matter. And what's this telling us? There's no orchard tractors. Do we actually need an orchard tractor to go and do this? Is this a strict thing that we need now? It is. We need to get another tractor. Oh my goodness me. I thought we could... Oh, we didn't need to buy two of those ones, did we? Okay, never mind. Orchard tractor. Put it into garage two. There it is. It's only little. It's a tiny little thing. It's fine. Right, go on somebody. Go and drive the expensive orchard tractor around. And we're now on 268 grand. <laughs> we started with so much money and now it's just plummeting. Do you know what? When these things are, when these things are grown, we're going to get loads of money back from these. It's just the initial outlay of buying all the machinery that's bought our money down. Okay, right. Lots of things coming in. Lots of things coming in. The tomatoes are being automatically sold, which is good because we just want those to go. So if I, again, learn to press the right button, let's set up another trade item. How about the... Pause, pause time a second. So let's get rid of the fish. We don't have to keep those. That's fine because that's going to go off a bit, isn't it? And then we can get rid of the uh, other stuff that we're growing. Oh, yeah, we've got the honey. So I think, I think we've only got regular multiflower honey, haven't we? Why is it blurred it out? That's unfortunate. So we've got the gooseberries. Oh, yeah, and the raspberries as well. So gooseberries and raspberries. Let's set up a trade. <laughs> well, I, I did that on the other version as well. Right, one day we'll get that right. Okay, gooseberries. That's those. And raspberries, where are they in the list? Just there. Okay, and then just sell above, uh, yeah, so tick sell, zero. Just sell everything. Just sell all of these things. We don't need these. Just make them go away. Sell them, please. All the time. Repeatedly sell them. Well, I've got no colza yet. Got no colza honey going on. But oh, there we go, look. Loads of stuff just sold. It's all done automatically. This is wonderful. Have we got any um, buckwheat honey? Is that a thing that we can now produce? Is that a thing? No, we haven't got any yet. Maybe because this stuff isn't flowering or whatever. Maybe the bees can't make use of it. I don't know. Whatever the case, it's looking great over here. Look at that. Apart from the symbols telling us that they're lacking stuff. Orchard tractor, orchard sprayer. I think there are orchard tractors and orchard sprayers. Oh, just because it's in use. 
Oh, okay. It's in use over here on this field. Okay, it's all fine, everybody. Everything's fine. Stand down. And I think all of the orchards are done. I think all of the orchards have had the three, whatever they are, like chemical spray things. The insecty one and the antifungal one and whatever that is, weeds. The anti-weedy one. I think they've all been sprayed. I think. Yeah, that's it. How about the, how about the apricots, whatever they are? Yeah, that's all fine. They're all done. So that's it. Our orchard fields are now in. They are in and done, and they're, you know, just a permanent feature now of our farm. They're going to be there forevermore. I don't see us changing these around, because, yeah, these just grow fruit, and then as long as we look after them, and we spray them, and all that kind of stuff, and we water them, then they just keep growing. They just keep growing forever and ever, and this is wonderful. Okay, I like the fact that these are in. This is excellent stuff. So, yes, it's going to take a long time for us to see any kind of profit from these whatsoever. Because, yeah, they're going to take, how long is that? 238, 243, 250, 246 days. So quite a long time until we get anything from them at all. But when we actually do get stuff from them, the money coming in is going to be very, very good indeed. That's going to be very helpful. And that's just going to happen year on year. That's going to happen constantly every year, which is all very wonderful. Also, the auto selling thing is, is really handy. That is very, very good. Because it is a little bit of a faff having to go in each time and go, right, okay, we've got, you know, we've got some raspberries, click, sell, or we've got some fish, click, sell, or I like the fact you can just, you know, automate that nice and simple, nice and straightforward. Because, yeah, we don't need, we don't need, you know, 250 kilograms of, of organic tomatoes. I mean, yeah, I've only got this little house here. I might take a couple to, you know, turn into a puree to put my pizza, but I don't need 250 kilograms of tomato. So it's quite handy that you can just, you know, auto sell everything. That does make life a bit easier. And I would say that, that is one of the big differences between Farm Manager 2021 and Farm Manager 2020, no, 2018. So I'm distracted by this thing. Autumn has come. This is harvest time for most crops. And the last moments to work in the fields with the frost sets in. Okay, that's fine. And um, yeah, the big difference between this game and the predecessor is that there are less clicks. There's a little bit less sort of fiddly admin for you to do. Like, for example, in the previous version, you'd say, okay, I want to have a field of colza. And so you designate the field and then you have to water the crops. You have to manually go in and say, right, OK, how much do we need? We need that many kilograms of seeds. OK, order it in. And it was a bit of a fiddle. It was a bit of a faff. Whereas now you just go, I want that to be that field. And it's all done for you. And again, the selling thing, I think that was the auto selling thing was, was it something you unlocked, I think, in the previous version? I can't quite recall now. But, you know, it's just, it seems a lot easier. It seems a lot more sort of straightforward to actually play. There's less sort of fiddly admin and more sort of you know, planning and enjoying the game rather than worrying about whether you've ordered the right amount of seeds for a field or whatever. So, you know, it does make it feel a little bit more, you know, it's a sort of slicker, quicker kind of experience. It's a better game, I think, overall so far. But yeah, look at that. More things coming in. Got lots of lovely gooseberries coming in. This is all very splendid. I mean, yeah, we are clawing a bit of money back. We are bringing a bit of money back. What's that doing there? Unassigned staff, all staff. Hang on, what? Ten unassigned staff? Seven unassigned staff. Why have we got unassigned? Hang on, who's unassigned? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, who's not doing anything? Um, is it that there? Staff. Current action. Uh, you're working on a greenhouse. They're all walking around. You're having a sleep. Oh, right, yes. It might take into account the people that are asleep. Because, of course, they have to go and have a nap and such like. Is it worth... Is it worth levelling some people up? Is it just worth helping some people maximise their skills so they can maximise yields of crops and things? Maybe we'll do that. Like Paige. Paige here is good at animals and you work at the fish farm. So how about we spend 1,600, 1,800 monies on upping your animal skill so then you can work even better with the fish, which means that you make more fish so we get more money in the long run. How about we do that? That seems like a good thing to do. Right, so you're... You're good at plants, you're good at plants. Your animals. Um, did we not just increase your animal skill? Hang on, what? We just increased that. Game, that's... Hang on, let's go back in. Let's go back in. It might just be having a bit of a moment. There we go, it hadn't refreshed. Okay, that's fine. Um, you're good at plants. You're good at plants. You, Maya O'Connor, beekeeping. Okay, what we can do is we can certainly increase your beekeeping abilities. That will make you make even more money, and that's uh, more honey, which makes more money in the long run. Okay, this is all good. Right, warehouse one, you're going to there. And look at that. Your happiness has increased by 8% because of some lovely decorations. Oh, maybe we should put some of those around. Maybe we should dot some more decor around the place. Uh, I mean, I'm all for putting down some lovely decorative items. Um, let's go to here. Decorations. 
Um, and there's a nice flowers box. Can we fit one of those in around here? Because along here is going to be a lot of... It's going to be a lot of uh, footfall along here. So yeah, there we go. Put some of those in. That looks nice out the front. And then over here... And let's put in some more decor. Uh, where's the big... I quite like that. I like this thing. Because again, it's quite big as well. It's a huge big thing. So there we go. I'll have one of those. And then how about we have something out the front of the warehouse as well? I mean, can we just... Hmm. Can we put it literally just there? Does it clip in with all the other things? Yes, it does. <laughs> it's merged in with all the boxes. It's fine. It's all okay. I mean, if we could put something right out the front door as well, that would be good. How about that? Can we just pop that right outside the front door? Oh, yes. Hang on. Do that to every single place. Because that makes sense. Because then we can say click and click. And that might make people happier because they've got nice sort of things to look at. Okay, that's good. How about we put something outside here as well, actually? Just a little thing. How about that? A nice flowers box that's yellow. Pop that outside the door of the warehouse. So people going there get to see it. And then... How about outside the beekeeper cottages? Why don't we have something nice out there as well? What can we put out there? That's quite nice. A nice sort of pink box of flowers. Let's just put one of those... Uh, yeah, let's put it along e alongside each place. One there. One there. And one there. There we go. That might affect people's mood a little bit. Just to see. There you go. Decorations. They're 9% happier because of the lovely decorations that we put around the place. Which has got to be a good thing. That's got to be a good thing. If they're happier, they're going to work more and be less sort of grumpy and stuff. Okay. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Right. We were training people up, weren't we? Right. Who needs some training? Um, you are Logan Blake. What are you What are you doing? And why? Oh, hang on. I can't. Logan, can you... Can you move your screen up a little bit, Logan? I can't see what you're doing. <laughs> it's gone to the bottom of the screen. I can't see. Um, you're probably working in an orchard. So I don't know what you're doing right now. Because there's nothing for you to do in an orchard right now. Um, you are doing manual labour on a field. But decorations are making you happy. Okay, that's probably a good thing. You're probably a bit happy about life. Even though you have to do manual labour. Sorry about that. Um, you are... I don't know what you're doing. You're plants and machines. Okay, do you know what? Get your plant skill up. It's a bit expensive, but we'll get it sorted. Right, Isabella Nichols, you're not particularly great at anything. Hang on a minute. Hang on. What were your skills? Orchards and machines. Okay, get a couple of points of machinery. That'll be fine. Um, Austin Burns, endurance and beekeeping. Um, I assume you're a beekeeper. Let's make you actually really good at beekeeping. Let's just upgrade that as well. There you go. You can work a long time without having a rest. And I think maybe that's all we'll do for for skilling people up for now, because, yeah, it is relatively expensive. I want to say above 300 grand. Although, there we go. Our auto-sell thing has kicked in, and we're making money again. Lovely. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. We might have a problem over here on the field. What is going on? So, yeah, to get the buckwheat... Ah, we need some more farm equipment. Oh, botherations. Okay. We need... What do we need, then? A combine... A combine harvester. Do we really need a combine harvester? Do we really, really need one? These fields are tiny. They're tiny, tiny little fields. We don't need a combine harvester. They're probably very, very expensive. I mean, yeah, if we look in here, a Xena combine is three... We can't, we can't afford one. We can't afford a Xena combine. We can't afford one of these warrior princess combines. It's just not going to happen. Um. Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on. What else can we do? Yeah, it needs it needs that. It needs that combine. And then it needs the cereal reaper thing as well. And then a press. And then a trailer. And that's going to cost quite a lot of money that we just don't have. I mean, I don't really care about the crop out of these. I'm not that bothered. Maybe we just leave it. Maybe we just leave that kind of stuff. Because I'm not so fussed. And then maybe we'll just let that die out. And they can sort it next year. And then by next year we might be able to actually afford to get the proper equipment in because we're probably going to have big fields at some point next year as well. Lots of lovely big fields and such like. But yeah, right now, we can't afford to do that. So we're going to miss out on a tiny bit of money from being able to sell the crop, but I, it was tiny. It was like 1,300, wasn't it? Given that the, the combine harvester thing is 300,000 monies, I don't think it matters that much. So I'm very sorry, lovely crops, but we'll just have to... We will just have to leave you there for a bit. I mean, the bees can go over. The bees can go over and enjoy that. That's all fine. Look, we are making coals of honey and buckwheat honey. So, yeah, it's all good. 
It's all good. The longer that stuff is there, the longer the bees make the fancy honey. And yeah, overall, the more money we make. I think it might be worth getting another couple of fish farms in, because they're only 10,000 to build. 10,000 farm manager monies for all of this. That's a massive bargain. That's a wonderful deal right there. I don't know who you've got contracting this, but well done. That's very good. So I think if we get another couple of those in, that's going to be very good for money because they seem to be quite profitable. Again, they're relatively low maintenance. As long as we make sure there is enough food in here to feed all of the fish, then it should be fine. It'll be absolutely fine. So I think we get another couple of those in. This house has only got two people in. So I get another couple of people that are good at working with animals. In fact, can we try and look at that now? Because if we can get them in now, that's fine. And we've got nobody that's good at working with animals at all. Excellent. Okay, I mean, there is somebody that's good at working with plants. Is it worth employing another person? Oh, no, hang on. Uh, no. Both those houses are full. Okay, let's not employ somebody that's good at working with plants. Um, how often does that um, how often does that change? How often does that switch around? Because yes, it would be good if we could have two people that are good at working with animals. Um, okay, let's get them constructed. By the time they're built, perhaps some animal trained people will be available to actually hire. So let's put that there, and then we'll put that there. And yet yeah, it moves the electricity things around again, which is good. But look at that. They're just making so much. They're making so much in the way of fish. And then we can sell this for massive piles of money. So yeah, if we get these in for a relatively cheap outlay of 10 grand, get this all set up. Got to buy the fish as well, of course. And yeah, we're going to make sure that it's all set up properly this time. We're not going to kill the fish. We're not going to starve them to death almost. Let's just get this done, get done properly. And then yeah, get some people in. Anybody good with animals yet? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Pause, pause, pause. There is. There's somebody good with animals. In fact, there's numerous people that are good with animals. Um, you, Jake Hill, in you come. You're good at animals. And is there anybody else that is solely good at animals? Because you lot are quite expensive. Ibrahim, you're very good with machines. Not so good with animals, but you're quite costly. You're quite costly. I'd rather not. I mean, look at that. That's a lot of money. You're just going to be working with animals. So your plant skill is going to go to waste, Maya or Maya Sharp. Okay, never mind. We'll have one person. We'll check back in a bit and we'll see if there's anybody else. How tall? We're building a pond. We're building water. Water that traditionally yeah, goes on the ground. I don't know quite why we need this massive scaffold for a bit of water over here. Scaffold over this bit. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> why is there so much scaffolding going on? Right, okay. This is what we're going to do. That is the trout, isn't it? Okay, so this one here can also be trout. So, right. Buy much in the way of trout, please. Buy many, many trout. As many as we can. Up to 50, my goodness. Right, so spend a bit of money, but they're only cheap. It's fine. And then, use organic food. Tick, tick, tick. I think it's that, isn't it? And we've got the middle one as well. Tick. Right, so use organic food. Use those four, please. And then assign... Somebody who's good at animals. Where was the person that was good at animals that we just hired? Jake Hill. Assign you over there. Right, and then Jake, can we go to you, spend a bit of money on upgrading your animal skill? In fact, have you all got good animal skills? How about you over there? Yeah, okay. Right, so you go in there, and now that can be your job. Sort out the trout over here. Make sure they don't starve to death. Like uh, like happened over on, um, over on Thingy's Watch. Um... Yeah, you, wasn't it? It was Thingy's Watch. It was, it was Paige's Watch. They nearly died. Look at that already. Already we're getting stuff from them. Is there any food in there? Oh, there is. They've got some rye in there. Okay, right. Can we employ somebody who is good at dealing with animals? Yeah, pause time a second. Hang on a minute. Darcy Stevens. In you come, Darcy Stevens. We know where you're going. You're going to work in here, Darcy. Right down here. And down to the bottom. Assign you to there. Buy a load of the carp, please. So stock up on carp. Yep, we need a button to buy lots of these. You know, max it out or something. There we go. Right, so clickety-click. And then over here, what have we got? All but the middle. Okay, oh, hang on. No, no, right. Lesson learned. There we go. Organic food. Click all that stuff. And there we go. We're going to make so much in the way of fish meat. It's going to be so much stuff. And then that does beg the question, actually. Hang on. Hang on. Pause time a second. So in here... We obviously can see what we can buy, but what about frozen fish? How much does that sell for? Um, where is that? Is that frozen fish? Yeah, frozen trout sells for... What? What? Hang on, what? 
Really? No, no, that, that can't be right. That's a, that's an awful lot of money. Hang on. Organic trout sells for 488 a kilogram normally. If it's frozen, it sells for 99 monies per kilogram. Okay, that seems quite good. Can we can we get a factory in? Can we get a factory in to freeze the trout to make much in the way of money? I don't think we can afford factories, can we? I think they're too expensive. Um, production. What have we got? Uh, is that silage? That's producing seeds. That's a mill. We can afford that. I don't think we can afford the big factories. Um, where is it? Where is it? Oh, frozen food factory. There it is. Not enough money. It's half a million monies. But it would be brilliant. We could make so much money off of the fish. We'd have to pay back the half a million, but I think we'd be able to do that quite quickly. Okay, well, there we go. That is, uh, that's fish food for thought, because that could make us a lot of money in the future. But right now, yeah, we're nowhere near that. We're nowhere near that at all. And yeah, those fields are falling apart. We can't do anything with them. It's all fine. Don't worry, game. Don't worry, game. We're willing to sacrifice the crops for the sake of the bees. Will nobody think of the bees? I think it might be worth investing in a mechanic. Now that we've got ourselves farm equipment, we've got actual machinery that is going to be slowly deteriorating, it might be worth getting a mechanic in. Because it says there the mechanic will ensure the good condition of all your machines and fix them when needed. That seems quite a good thing. I mean, can we have a look at how sort of fully a party our machines are? That's on 97% durability. And we've not even used that. That's just been sat outside in the rain, I think. That's on 100%. That's not so bad. How about the um, the tractor, say? How about the tractor? How is that looking? That's on 96%. So I suppose it would be quite good if we could just get a mechanic in. How much is it to actually maintain the mechanic? 49 per month. That's absolutely fine. That's okay. I think we can cope with that. Um, I was hoping they were tiny. No, they're uh, they're quite big. Okay, we can't fit them into that little gap there, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, where can we put the mechanic? I mean, ideally, you'd want them near the sheds. You'd want them over here somewhere. Yeah, it looks like they cover that radius. So any machines within that radius, they are going to cover. I mean, how about put them up there? How about that there? That's going to cover all of the machines, because we've not got any machines down here. So, yeah, okay, let's get a mechanic in. Relatively expensive, but it's okay. We're bringing good money. We're selling an awful lot of fish, so that's good. So let's just have a look. Now, what I don't know is, do we assign a person to this? Do we assign a person, or does the mechanic building come with, you know, a mechanic you know, ready built inside? I'm not entirely sure. Um, it looks like... It looks like, yeah, the mechanic is already inside, and they're just waiting. Is, there a, is that a police car? Uh, oh, no, it's just a mechanic car with with lights on the top. Now that's a bit fancy, isn't it? Why do you need that? Why do you need a fancy car with lights on the top? You're a, you're a mechanic thing. But okay, that's fine. So now I've got a mechanic in and they're going to look after all of these things. So I assume at some point when our, you know, when our sprayer looks like it's going to fall apart and bits are dropping off and there's bolts everywhere dropping onto the ground and into the field, the mechanic runs out, whacks it with a spanner and then yeah, it's all sorted again. I quite like that as well. I like that. It's a nice automated kind of approach there. Okay, there we go. We have a shiny new thing in, because of course, yes, this was not in Farm Manager 2018. I do not believe. So, but that's a nice new kind of building in, which is all very good. And it looks nice. It looks mechanic-y. They've got tires on a, like a tire rack thing. And, you know, they've got tools and they've got uh, whatever that, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that green thing is, but they've got that green thing. It's very important for doing, you know, mechanics. I think, to finish things off, let's build another couple of greenhouses. We've got this space up here, which is perfectly sized for greenhouses. Let's put a couple of those in. I quite like the idea of that. And then, of course, we can grow something different. We've got tomatoes, we've got raspberries, we've got gooseberries. Why don't we put some other things over here? So they're not even that expensive to build. Seven grand to get constructed. And I think we do have a lot of people. We have a lot of plant people that can come and work on these. So... Drop one in there and another one in there. So we'll have a couple of extra greenhouses. How's the manure storage looking? Only 501. Okay, it might be worth buying in. Do you know what we could do? We could use the fancy trade thing and go to manure. If I can figure out how to... Oh, hang on. What? Oh, is it only for selling? Oh, no, our trade item. Hang on. No, that's how it works. You have to add a thing first. Right, manure. Hang on a second <laughs> Uh, it's fine. It's fine. I know how to run a farm. It's all good. Right. Manure. Pause time for a second. Right. Purchase until you have uh, 8,000. Purchase until you have 8,000 manure. So at the moment, we have 501 in storage. 
which is probably okay. I imagine we use quite a lot on the orchards, but yeah, we're going to need a bit more than that. So it's not even that expensive. So there you go. You purchase until we have 8,000 units of it. Let's do that, shall we? So that should come down, but we should see that topping up. And there we go. 8,000 has just magically kind of beamed in there. Does it not get delivered? Okay, obviously not. That's a bit weird. Right, and then what do we want to put in here? What would we like in here? Um, and we can put lots and lots of different things in it. We can have potatoes and fodder beets and onions and all sorts of stuff. Um, I mean, what makes the most money? That would make sense. I mean, peppers. Peppers are always a good thing. We used to grow those. 88 days to grow. The yield is 3,300. But they do take a bit longer to grow. Um, okay, they seem quite good. Watermelons. We've got tomatoes. Spinach. Spinach grows quite quickly, but it's not worth that much money. Strawberries. Everyone likes strawberries. Why don't we grow some strawberries in that one? And then in this one, grow something else. I mean, blackcurrant. Blackcurrant seems quite profitable. Let's grow some blackcurrants in that one. Beets make hardly anything at all. I think that's going to be for your own sort of crops. It's, oh no, hang on, I've not bioed it. Hang on a minute, hang on, cancel that. Belay that order. Um, yep, yeah, scroll down to here. Um, yeah, organic strawberries, please. Bio strawberries. So we've got bio blackcurrants and bio strawberries going in. Okay, there we go. It's a shame you can't set the organic stuff to be ticked by default. Because I am sure at some point in the future, I am going to forget that. I'm going to completely forget that that's a thing. And then, yeah, we're going to have stuff that's not bio. And I kind of want it to be a nice sort of bio, eco-friendly sort of farm. Even though we spray everything with chemicals. Don't mention that to anybody. But yeah, here we are. They're already working on it. Reggie, Ollie and Sophia working very hard over here. They're working very hard. Just plowing the soil over here. And this place, Jackson, Aria and Logan busily working away bit of manual labor which they're not overly happy with i don't think but are they happy no manual labor no field quality they like a bit but decorations the decorations are making sure that people are not grumpy can we somehow put some more decorations out here is it possible put time down on to normal right can we fit in say a box are we able to do that um by the door just pop that there yes we can i imagine they just walk through them I imagine they just stroll straight through those. Okay, that's good. This is good stuff. Let's just make sure that we're not actually storing anything that we're not selling. Um, no, I don't think so. Hang on. Uh, no, we are. Hang on, hang on. Sell. We've got the buckwheat honey and we've got the colza honey. We've not set them up in the trade thing. It's only the multiflower honey. Hang on a minute. How much can we get for these? We can get... Oh my goodness me, we can make 41 and a half thousand monies from these. Okay, we'll set those up for auto selling. Add a trade item, please. I completely forgot about those. Right, it's bio? It's not bio. No. Um, I mean, it comes from bio fields. Uh, okay, okay. No, it's not bio then. So that's not going to... Which is the one we set up there? That's not going to work. So it's normal. It's normal, honey. Let's just type it in. Ha. Um, yes, that's buckwheat. And then add another one. And it's the regular colza stuff. Yeah, I don't know how you do the bio honey then. Not entirely sure how that works. Um, and then, yes, yeah, sell above zero. Sell above zero, please. So we should see our money go up quite considerably when those things get sold. Yeah, because they're not bio honeys. That's why they're saying naught all the time. I haven't noticed. There you go, 310 grand. <laughs> wow. Okay, there we go. Splendid. That's a nice massive pile of money we just made. That paid for the greenhouses and the seeds and loads of other stuff. And it probably paid for the new fish farms as well, which is excellent stuff. Okay, so money is ticking up quite nicely. We've got one unassigned staff. Who's that, I wonder? I wonder who's having a bit of time off. Okay, do you know what? It's fine. They can have a bit of time off. But look at all the things coming in. Raspberries are coming in now. We can see fish coming in from over there. And yet yeah, over here, our wonderful, wonderful orchards. These trees are nice. I like these. What are they? Plum trees. Oh, they look lovely. I do like those. These will look good, as you would expect, kind of fruit trees. These are slightly more sort of autumnal and ready of leaf. They're quite nice. But there we go. These are set up, again, many, many days for these things to actually grow. And we've got winter coming up as well. But yeah, things are looking good. 
things are looking good around here. Let's just have a very, very quick check on our training. What percentage are we through? Are we even 50% through? 46%. <laughs> it's taking so long. It's taking so long. But we want to get this done so then we can have all of the lovely animal stuff. We can get more stuff out of, you know, the chicken coops and the rabbit warrens and the pigs and the cows and all that kind of stuff. We can have the bigger sheds and such like. So yes, it is... Um, it, and that as well, the quality and quantity of the harvest by 10%. So that thing is going to give us 10% more stuff, which hopefully will kick in by the time we get the orchards ready to harvest. Because if we can get 10% more fruit out of the orchards, that's going to translate into a great big pile of money. So that's very good. So there we go. It's taking us a long while to get that training done, but it's fine. Once it's done, it shall absolutely be worth it. So what we will do is we'll finish up for now because things are looking pretty good. I'm very happy. We haven't gone broke. We've not employed 12 gazillion staff that are not doing anything. The staff are, you know, able to get on with some work. We have ourselves lovely, lovely fields over here. Some very nice orchards set up, which is splendid. We have ourselves a mechanic. We've got more fish farms going on. The bees are producing different types of honey. It's all going very well. And of course, we've got farm equipment. We have fancy pants farm equipment. We've got tractors and stuff, everybody. So there we go. We're living the proper farming life. I did notice actually over here, there is an upgrade. We could upgrade this. The medium owner's house gives access to fields of a maximum size of 75 by 75. I hadn't noticed that. I was just clicking about when nothing much was going on. I did see this. So we could have got bigger orchards. But do you know what? It's fine. They're pretty big as it is now. So we'll leave that. We might do that next time. Get ourselves a slightly fancier house or whatever. Maybe the upgrade means we tidy up. Because, I mean, as lovely as this house is, the outside's a bit of a mess. I mean, there's that tractor there. Sort that out. There's bits of wood over here. Tidy that up. Put some flowers in the garden. There's some crates and stuff. Just yeah, a little bit of a little bit of a tidy up outside would be nice. But yeah, we'll have a look at that next time out because I think we're at a good point to finish up for now. Hopefully you are enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be very splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Farm Manager 2021. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, it, this is not your day, is it? Sean Bozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.